Alrighty, so today we're pulling out the Savage 110 Tactical again, chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. This is going to be our first kind of load workup with this rifle. We're going to continue using the Winchester primers, the Nosler New Brass, and the Barnes 145 grain match burner, and Superformance for the powder. So these hit the lands in my rifle at 2.950. We're gonna shoot them at 2.810 cartridge overall length so they fit nicely in the magazine. We're gonna start out at 44.0 grains and work our way up to 45.5 grains in half grain increments. I don't have specific data for the 145 grain match burner, but I've used a couple different sources to kind of gather these charges, so hopefully we don't get ourselves in trouble. Being that we are using Superformance, we're expecting some pretty high velocities. We're going to shoot three shot groups today. Again, with the uh, crisis we're in, we're saving components and going down to three shot groups. Now, ideally, if one of these shoots well, we'll come back and confirm it with a five shot group. All right, so let's get out on the range and let's see this combination shoot. All right, we're out here on the range. The target is at 100 yards. This is my 24 inch Savage 110 Tactical, chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor, shooting the 145 grain match burners. Uh, the gun is cool. It is about um, 70 degrees out, a little bit breezy. Hopefully it's not, hopefully you can't hear too bad in the camera. But uh, wind's blowing off the left and kind of in our face. Getting velocity through our lab radar. The orange dots on the target are one inch. Um, the gun is also clean. I cleaned it after I shot it last time. So uh, we'll see how these group. So I know the last time we shot these, they were loaded uh, so long they wouldn't go in the magazine. Today we've shortened them down to magazine. Lead. So we're starting out at 44 grains, working our way up. Hopefully these aren't too hot loads. They should be reasonable loads, I think. Take a look at our velocity here. All right, 2648 with a 10.8 SD. All right, the brass looks fine. So we're gonna go ahead and move on up. Moving up to 44.5 grains. Let's take a look at our velocity here. 85 feet per second with a SD of 6.3. All right, I think that looks to be the best group so far. Let's take a look at our velocity here. And that was 27.21 with an SD of 9.9. See what the last group does here. All right, looks like our last group was the best group of the day there. Let's take a look at the velocity. All right, looks like the velocity average was 27.58 with an SD of 6.5. So uh, nothing to complain about there. Let's get over there to the target let's check out the groups. All right, so we're back at the bench here. Taking a look at our target, the first group of the day at 44.0 grains, shot a 1.6 inch group, 26, 48 feet per second, and a 10.8 SD, worst group of the day. Moving on to 44.5 grains, we shot just over an inch at 1.08 inches, 26, 85 feet per second, and an SD of 6.3. Now moving on to our next group at 45.0 grains, we shot 0 0.92 inches, 27, 21 feet per second, and a 9.9 .9 SD. And our last group of the day at 45.5 grains, we shot a 0.5 inch group, 27, 58 feet per second, and an SD of 6.5. So overall, pretty good groups here. I mean, this bullet shot really poorly in my 6.5 PRC, so it looks like it's gonna shoot okay in the Creedmoor. That last group at 45.5 grains, that half inch group and 2758 feet per second SD of 6.5 is an excellent group for three shots. Now taking a look at our brass here, the brass looks pretty good. Not seeing any swipes, really wasn't a tough bolt lift. Looks like we could push up a little bit higher. 
Now, in the future, we may push up a little bit higher and try some five-shot groups, see if, see if these groups are going to hold together. In the future, we may push up with our charges here and see if we can get continue to have some good groups with some higher velocity numbers. Trying to find a load that might get this 6.5 Creedmoor out to one mile, and the 145 grain match burner with its high BC might be the candidate for that. So thank you guys for watching today, and I'll see you next time.